was talking about. Um, once we get it all together, we have to, to card and pin up all the depressions because the leather is called drumming when it uh, falls away from the mannequin. It's not going to drum on all your outside curves, any of that, but where you will going to drum is, is any reverse curves or depressions. So we have to uh, card it down, pin it down, pin down, you know, in your brisket here, all the different depressions and like the zygomus. I like to get that to show, and uh, so we have to uh, pin it all up, and then I use a little pin gun. I used to have to pin up my hand, and now I got this little simple pin gun, and I use a giant upholstery uh, pins to help hold things in position. That, that's another thing is a lot of the tools I use are like basic. Some of them are upholstery tools, some of them are carpenter tools. There's no like set just taxidermy tools. What I'm doing here says card in the outer line of the years. I put these cards on to give me a nice, thin, crisp ear. Because the ears on the animal taper out really, really thin. And uh, if you look at a lot of mouse, you see real thick ears. So I put these cards on, it gives me that nice feather edge there. This is another step to get it to look more lifelike, more real. And that, that's always the battle too, is you're always trying to pull more and more detail out as you go. But a lot of good clues are like in this mount, when you start seeing all the skin alignment, you see this little uh, tuft of hair here that um, goes along this muscle. When you see that I got a nice brow line, um, elk have a lot of cowlicks in it. And then you see here, this chin line, there's a little bit of hair right here. You start being able to pull out all those, really what I call soft details. That's how you know you're starting to win a little bit. And that's another reason I don't like the stylized uh, taxidermy. I mean, they have these mannequins now that look like they're, you know, Arnold and bigger hunters like big, you know. And they'll have like a three-year-old deer, this little petite face with a 28-inch neck on it or something. Just because you can get the skin to stretch that far doesn't mean you should. Now here I'm, I'm taxing the skin into position because um, this is all when I put it this this side when now it turns hard. We got a nice stretch over here, but now we got like five thousand wrinkles, well, maybe eight wrinkles right here, and we need to line them all up, put them where they go. So we call that taxiing the skin. Here I'm stapling the back up in the end. When I first started, hand stapler. Oh my God. And before that, nails. You know? And when I think back to the old days, they were getting like eight bucks for a deer head. They didn't have drills, you know. You, you take apart the old mouse, they got the old slotted screws. Now I'm like Mr. Portals, boom, 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 boom. You know? And uh, I go, oh my God, can you imagine having a do that, but they did. Because they take cardboard uh, boxes that my mannequins come in, I cut strips out of them. And if you look at cardboard, you'll notice that it um, has a grain to it. Well, you can take that grain and it'll contour uh, with your animal. And I'll run strips along here and then I'll put staples on each side all the way down. And then I'll leave that on my seam until it's dry. And then that helps also hold your your seam line down. And our local deer here, they don't have hardly any hair on. I mean, African animals have more hair than our coastal deer, so it's really a challenge to, to, to really hide a seam where, where there's nothing to hide. It. After about four weeks, all those jillions of pins and stuff, I take them all out. And uh, sometimes I find them in my feet because she said she only wore sandals. She I forgot to tell you, I don't even wear shoes most of the time. So, occasionally. And you think I learned, one day I got stung three times. On the same day, stepped on three bees. First time I go out, I wear shoes. Second time I said, I'm going to wear shoes. Third time, I, I don't know what I said. I'm standing here, I'm pulling out the tissue from the nose, getting everything removed, removing the ear cards. Like for everything I put, take it all off again and um, same thing here 
here where I, where I tucked all my lip in and stuff. I've got to uh, trim that all out, get it, get it smoothed out because I'm going to do use a special epoxy. It's two part 50, 50. Like if I can know what it is, Mighty Buddy. Billy May is here for Mighty Buddy. You can fix an elf or hang a shelf. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. 